Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a 2D platformer game in Unreal Engine 4. We'll go over how to add our own 2D character with his running, jumping, and idle animation, and how to create a 2D tile set that we can use in our levels. So, the first thing you want to do is head over to Unreal Engine and just launch it. Once it's launched, you want to go to New Projects and Categories and select Games, Next, and then you want to select the 2D side scroller template and click Next. And I'll just call this my Platformer Project. And we'll just create it. We will start off with this 2D side scroller template. And if we click play, we can control this character and he's got a simple running and idle animation. The first thing we're gonna do is replace this character with our own custom one. To do this, we can head over to websites such as itch.io and look for browse, select assets, and then look for 2D. And this will show us a bunch of 2D character assets that we can use for our game. I found this medieval fantasy character pack with some great 2D assets and this is the example one I'm be using for the rest of this tutorial. For the character that you're going to use, you want to make sure that they have an idle, running and jumping animation. Once you have that, you just want to download your character. Once you have your character, if we head back to Unreal Engine, we're just going to right click and create a new folder and call this 2D character and we'll store our 2D character in here. So I'm going to double click and go inside here and just drag in the running, jumping, and idle animations for the 2D character that I want to use. Once you've dragged in the images of your character, they may look a bit weird. To make them look all normal again, just hold shift to select them all and then right click and look for sprite actions and apply paper 2D texture settings. We're now going to set up our character's idle state. So if you go to your character's idle image, you just want to right click, look for sprite actions and extract sprites. For the sprite extract mode, you just want to leave it at auto and then click extract. And this will extract our character's idle sprite. To make it so this is one animation, with all of the sprites selected, you just want to select the first one, right click, and it will create flipbook. And I'll just call this night idle flipbook. And this will be a flipbook of my character's idle state. We'll do the same thing for when our character is running. So if I look for my character's running image, I'll right click. Look for sprite actions, extract sprites, and click extract. With all of them selected, I'll select the first one, right click again, and create flipbook. And I'll just call this my night run flipbook. And so that we can replace this with our default character, if we head over to the blueprints folder and go to the 2D side scroller character, in the handle animation, in the false bit, for this idle animation, we just want to select our night idle flipbook. And for the true, where it says running animation, we want to change this to our night running animation. And then if we head over to the viewport and select the sprite, we just want to change this to our night idle flipbook. And as we can see, it's a bit small. So I'm just going to click this little icon and then scale it up so my character fits around this capsule. So five, that seems to be a bit small, so I'll just change it to seven. And that's looking a bit better. So now if I click compile, so now if I click the play button, we can see I'm the night character. I do my idle animation, and when I move, I start to do my running animation. As you can see, the character doesn't really have a jumping animation, it's just him doing his running animation. We're gonna change that. So if we head back to my 2D character, I'm gonna get his jumping animations. So I right click here, look for sprite actions, extract sprite, and just extract them. For his jumping animation, I'm only gonna make it be one flipbook. So I'm just gonna select this sprite, right click, look for create flipbook, and I'll call this my night jump. And to add it so my character does this jumping animation when my character jumps, if we head back to the 2D side scroller and to the event graph, this handles my character's animation and by default, it will just go between his idle and his running states. To make it so my character can do a jumping animation, we wanna drag up here and look for branch. And the condition of this branch, we're gonna drag in our character movement. And from here, we can drag off and look for is falling. So this is just built into our character and we'll just plug this in here. And when our character is falling, we'll make it show the jumping animation. So I'll just plug false into here. But if our character is falling, we'll make it do the jumping animation. To do that, we can just select this set flipbook. So I'm just select to it, press control C and then press control V and plug this into true. And for the new flipbook, I'm gonna make it be my night jump. And now if I click compile and play, on my night moves, and it's falling, he starts to do his jumping animation. So now we've set up an idle, running, and jumping animation for our 2D character. 
So next we're going to set up some 2D tile sets for our platformer game. So if I just head back to itch.io and browse for 2D assets, I found this nice generic dungeon asset which I'm going to use for the tile map of my game. So you just want to download a tile set that you can use. Once you've downloaded a tile set that you can use, you just want to drag it into Unreal Engine. So I'll just drag this tile map that I found from itch.io, drag it into Unreal Engine. And then to make it look normal, right click, Spray Actions and apply Baby 2D Texture Settings. Now we're going to make this tile map a tile set. To do that, you want to right click, look for Spray Actions and Create Tile Set. And then if we head inside here, we're going to make it so we can drag and drop and place these all over our level if we want to. When we do that, we can make some of these tiles have collision by just selecting one of these boxes and going to Add Box. So that we can see this collision, you just want to click Colliding Tiles. And if we were to place this in our level, this would have some collision around it. This collision is quite big. So if you wanted to change the size of it, if we head over to tile size, I'm gonna change it by 16 by 16, because that's the size of my tile. And now the collision has changed and it matches my tile set more. We can delete collisions by just selecting them here and then pressing the delete button. So I'm gonna add some collision around this block. So I'll just go add box and add some collision around here. Once you're happy with it, just click save. And to make it so we can easily place this around our level, you want to right click, look for create tile map, and this will make it a tile map which we can easily place in our level. So I'll just double click and go inside here. And for our tile map, I'm going to make the map width 50 and the map height 20. And inside this box, we'll be able to paint with our tile map. So with the left mouse selected, we can select one of these areas and with paint selected, we can just paint on our tile map. And if you wanted to add a whole area, if we just hold the left mouse button, we can select a whole area and just paste it into our tile map. If you wanted to remove something in here, we could head over to the erase tool and just select the squares that we want to erase. And if you wanted to make this tile map one tile, if we just select one of them and then go to fill, and then select here, it will fill the whole tile map. So once you have your tile map ready, just click save. And then we can drag it into our level. And it's a bit small, so I'm gonna make the scale of this five. And so that this is in roughly the correct location, we just wanna select our character and get their location. So it's at 905, and I'll set my tile map location to be 905, and then we'll just move it slightly behind our character so it's just slightly behind them and now if i click play my tile map is in my game if you remember earlier we made it so some of our tile maps have some collision so if i just go back to paint mode and select this tile which i gave some collision and just place this somewhere in my tile map like here and then close this if i just move my tile map up a bit if i click the play button and jump on this tile, I can interact with it because it has some collision. And that is how to quickly set up a 2D platformer in Unreal Engine. That's all for now, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.